Okay, then this episode we should end up with an extra party member. One, we can replace the Grumpy Lazel for those that don't want to. I'm one of those people, so we are going to get that done. We do need a short rest right now. No, that's what I meant to do. Base mode. Just one short rest. Just to refresh her powers and then we can get moving. Cracked rock. We're going to be making our way north. Now, if you look around, obviously, even though the, it's black, right? <laughs> we can still go over. We can take a physical look. First place we want to go is this blood scene right here because we're going to go ahead and find a dog. It's a nice bit of fun. Everybody likes a dog to pet in these games these days, right? And grab some loot on the way around. Bit of fish, some camp supplies. Luckily, this game doesn't seem to have anything in the way of food going off. Now, then, always make sure you zoom in and have a look at the grass. You guys are going to see there is loot to find all over the place. Even sometimes it doesn't get highlighted. Because on the way to our new party member, called Kolak, we are going to be grabbing a ring as well, which is going to make his job even better. <laughs> Astorian's comments are always the best. He's my favourite character, really. Uh, we're going to reach out a bit. We're going to be nice to the dog. I don't know. If, if I was nasty to the dog, my wife would destroy me, even though it's not even a real dog. She's that serious about dogs. I mean you no harm. Oh man. Can I have a blessing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's at least make it slightly easier. There we go. The dog lowers his hackles, his head tilted inquisitively. Oh, you love me already. Unless he turns his attention back to the that magic collar of doom. It's gonna kill us in the night, I'm telling you. Don't let it in your camp, it's gonna kill you. Around look. his neck is a collar etched with a name. Scratch. The lighting on my character's hair there is a bit weird. I have the push final. I'm not using it right now. Uh, you're alright, Scratch. Heartbroken whine. The dog bows his head. Scratch, follow me. The dog looks. I reckon we'll use the animal surprise. potion thing on the dog last. Seems to me the best idea would be to use it like, when you want to use it outside, because the dog's going to wait in the camp. And then when you come back to camp, when you inevitably have to rest, you can use it there. Ooh, the dog whimpers nervously, as if to urge you on. Hold out your hand so he can follow my scent to the camp. I have a lovely, gorgeous scent. Don't you all want to smell me like the dog? I'm joking. <laughs> He knows how to find you. What am I saying? I'm going insane here. Give me that. So yes, so we're just going to keep on curving around the cliff. I think I was right, wasn't I? We can't climb up here. Oh no, we can climb. Here we go. This is going to take us into the Blatter Village. Okay, so this is what I thought. So maybe we won't end up with Karlak in this episode, because we have to get to this here. I don't think we have a way across, unless we can jump from there. Which could be possible. Can we get into the water down here? Okay, we can get to there. All right. That doesn't count as a place we can jump to. Whoops. People have a word what I meant to do. His... Get off. There we are. That's what I wanted. So just in case people need a recap, right? This started at the uh, Owlbear Cave. We came to the north, found ourselves a shallow point in the river. And now we can get ourselves some stuff. Now we should be right next to the skeleton. I believe. Yeah, here we are. Here we, here we are. 
Here we are. You got that. In the inventory. And then we are going to put that ring on Styrian. I don't think uses charisma. That minus one shouldn't be too much of an issue. Just thinking in my head. We could try and fix it with a respect, but this, as you can see, is more stealth and more sleight of hand. So, we want him going around stealing stuff and uh, being stealthy. This is going to make his life two points easier, which was pretty big. That's what, effectively 10% better? Why are they still across there? We're not going that way. You fight well, but you're so efficient. Why not have a little fun? Fun? I fight to win, not to make sense. Okay, so we're going to come down here. Now we should be pretty happily seeing a devilish looking lady. And I think she looks kind of a bit cooler than Lazar. Haven't had her in the party yet, so she may be just as abrasive for all I know, but hopefully she's... So does this mean if we bring her into the party, Will is going to leave? I don't mind, I'm the caster anyway. Me never been better. Oh fuck me. It's you from the Nautiloid. Please tell me I found you before those so-called paladins of Tear did. Now that's a story, and I'll tell it to you, but truth be told, we shouldn't stay here too long. See, these paladins of... A great heat roars through you. So she has one. Fiery as the hells, then you're lost in visions of demonic armies. As you tear through so is she actually a fiend or is she a tiefling? And blood. The blood war. You saw it from above as the Nautiloid passed through Avernus. This woman was on the front line. It's the tadpole. Fuck's sake. Mountains as far as the eye can see. Guess that explains the voices. From that peak I got into your head, you've made some inroads trying to get the thing sorted. But alas, no joy. I'm Karlak. And you are... But you were just in my head. Well met, soldier. Now that we're old pals, how would you feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? Who? A little background, if your moral compass needs something to point at. You already know I fought in the Blood War. I was good at killing demons. Really good. So good, Zariel, the Archdevil herself, made me her personal attack dog. I played along until I could get the fuck out of there. It took me ten years to probably escape, but now I'm free. Zariel sent goon after goon to hunt me down. But believe me when I tell you, I'm not going. The latest yappy little dog she sicked on me are nearby. A group of dopes posing as paladins of tear. Oh, I, I know who they are. Don't worry, I'll lead the charge. But I could use your help. There's a lot of them, and only one of me. After that, we can team up. Take Faerun by the short hairs. Sound good? I like her. She looks like she could throw me over her shoulder and carry me to safety. Should the need arise. What? <laughs> yeah, go on, go. Fuck yes. They cornered me outside the toll house, just up the hill. Don't they've gone far after the scorching I gave them. Hang on, though. Looks like you got enough backup at your side. Not sure there's room for me. I'll catch up with you when it's time to camp for now. But don't get to any of the fun stuff without me. Got it? 
Yeah, I'll just do it more like Mildly. Get some loot out of it as well. We have more tools for our thief. We're looking pretty good in terms of... Not latest type is better. It kind of lines up. Alright, so we have Karlak, we have the dog. Pretty nice. So we kind of have the choice as to whether or not we want to do this northern area without her. Now, in my opinion, up here, there are... Where are they? I can't quite see the location. Yeah, here we go. There's a load of knolls and stuff up here. And they're pretty tough. We could probably take them on. But I feel like it's less resistance if we do the blighted village first. So that is going to be what we do. We've just come here, gotten ourselves a little bit of goodies. We can always come back here real nicely later. And there's actually a proper bridge. We kind of supposed to come this way later on anyway. If you really wanted a shortcut as well, when we were up on one of the platforms in the Emerald Grove, which I think was this one, you can in fact jump over if you were taking some damage. But um, so yeah, you've got options to get back up here quickly later on anyways. So we are going to, or should I say I am going to, probably, yeah. So we'll, we'll, we'll cut a little bit. We're going to go along here and we're going to meet up kind of just coming back down to where the entrance or the climb up into this village is going to be. So we can start doing some assassinations.